this just in, local basketball star Russell McCoy went into cardiac arrest today. This happened mid-game during the semifinals of the playoffs. Doctors said he will recover just fine, but it is unsure whether or not he will be able to play again. Get this, ladies and gentlemen. A high school basketball star had a heart attack tonight in the middle of a playoff game. Now, this is a junior in high school who already has a scholarship waiting for him at Duke. But because of his new heart condition, Duke is now repossessing their offer and looking on. It looks to me this kid's future has come to an early end. On other Everyone said I was done. It was all over the news. The doctor said my heart wasn't healthy enough to play, and everyone knew it. I lost my scholarship, I lost my career, and I lost my shot at the life I'd always dreamed of. My life was ruined. I was headed nowhere. I couldn't think straight. I started failing at everything. And I wasn't myself anymore. I couldn't do the one thing that made me happy. The one thing that brought me inner peace. I didn't have anything to live for anymore. So I decided to let basketball finish off the job and just kill me. I made my mind up and told myself that I would go to the gym and play until my heart gives out and kills me on the court, just like it almost did that night. So I went. I went off to my mission, but after a while I couldn't pull through with it. Just being there on that court, it brought back all the emotions, all the memories, and all the passion I had for the game. Everything just flooded in my mind, and it got to me. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't accept the fact that this was the end. I couldn't accept the fact that that was it. That my life was over. I was so angry. So disgusted by the fact that life could be that cruel. So enraged that fate could just take control over my life and play around with it like a child would with a toy. I felt robbed. I felt that I had the right to the life I'd always dreamed of. And that's when I realized that I did. I did have the right to the life I always wanted. I did have the right to follow my dreams. And I could make them a reality. And everyone can make their dreams a reality. Everyone has potential. It's only a matter of how much drive and pursuit you have in following your dreams that makes it more difficult than the rest. So I knew then, if I wanted to get my life back, it meant starting from the beginning. I knew I had to start off small and work my way back up. I had to humble myself and I had to work hard, harder than I've ever had to before. I'd have to persevere through the pain and just get through it. I fought through it and eventually it all paid off. I got my life back. And I learned something from all of this. I learned to never give up and never stop following your dreams. It's true what some people say. If you want something, nothing will get in your way from getting it. Never give up on your dreams, because the only thing that can stop you is yourself. Don't cut yourself out and say that it's impossible, because everything is possible. You can achieve anything in your life, and I know that from experience, because I lost everything that I had, but I've worked hard and I got it back. Get this, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that kid, Russell McCoy? Well, guess what? He's back and better than before. He has overcome his condition to keep doing what he loves. Listen to your heart, follow your dreams, and never give up.